the Yisoid, the foundation of Pesach, is for us to realize who we are and for us to really realize that there's nothing that's stopping us. To, you know, sometimes we can get so stuck in our own dimyonos and fantasies of who we are and what we could do and what we could accomplish and what we're able to escape from and what we can't. And Rav Nachman tells us that the Yitzhahara has one word, he has a nickname. His nickname is Dimyon, imagination. He puts all these ideas into, his, into our head. You know, when Mashiach comes, we say, it's, the, the, the Satan's gonna evaporate, kulo ke'eshon tichle, like smoke, like it wasn't really there. And my Rebbe Rebbe Kalish explained because the truth is there was never anything there in the first place, right? Smoke, it just looks like something's there, but it goes away. We're gonna realize that the Satan, the Yitzhahara is nothing, it's, it's fantasy. But there's something even greater going on on Pesach. And that is that we know we're on the 49th level of Tumah of impurity. Let's understand that for a moment. Hashem made 50 levels of impurity in the world. And we reach number 49. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's like, you, you know, how low can you go? You can't get lower than that. If we would have reached level 50 was over, point of no return. To the, to the point that Hashem says, I gotta rush you out of there. Let's go, no time for this chametz. We can't make babka. No kakash cake now. Let's go matzah, less than 18 minutes. I gotta get you out of here. And what happens? What happens? You know, we get to Kriyas Yamsuf, and the Medrash says that the, the sea doesn't want to split. The angel of the sea says, why should I split? The Egyptians serve Avodah Zarah, and the Jews serve Avodah Zarah. Halal over the Avodah Zarah, halal over the Avodah Zarah. Even as we got to the to the sea, we still had idol worshippers with us. But yet we crossed the sea. And we know what a Jew saw in that, uh, during that time when he saw at Kriyas Yamsuf. Even the greatest Navi didn't see. Yecheskel ben Buzi didn't see what the Shifcha, what the maidservant saw as she was crossing. Yecheskel saw Meisim Merkava, God's throne, but he had nothing on that maidservant. When she said, Zekei on Veu, they all saw God. And then a few weeks later, we get to Harsina, we hear Hashem speak, everyone becomes a prophet. Wait, how did that happen? 49th level of Tumah. All of a sudden now we're prophets. The answer is Hashem says, I see something in you that you don't see yourself. You think you're like an Egyptian. You think you're over there of Odezara. No, that's nothing. That's chitzonius, that's outside. You could go from the 49th level of impurity and you could jump to the highest of heights. 49 days later, you're on top because you have greatness inside of you. Don't think that you are your Avera. That's the worst thing when we think and we associate our, that we are who our Yetzirah is. No, we could take that Chametz and we could burn it. We can get rid of our Yetzirah. We could find our essence of who we are. And the truth is, the Beis Avram Islam says that we just said it in the Seder. What did we say the words? In the beginning we served the idols. The Achshav Kervanu and now Hashem, you brought us close. You brought us close to you. And he says the Derech Yetzahara, what the Yetzar wants, at least Skabr Adam, to overcome a person. Umefato so and to get him to Ashkiya Bitavosaf to get him to go after his desires and Olam Haza and Khatayim and his sins. But he's not done. A dialogue over with us, so, but he doesn't finish his work. Achma pilo yosef till he kicks him and he says, Shema pilo be yish. You give up hope, you can never come back. But Omer like truth of the makasa, there's no healing for you. You're done. It's over. But it's not true. He says we have to be mechazik. Because we were first over the Evel de Zara and Hashem took us to become the closest to him. Don't think that you're someone who you're really not. A kid comes home and he's full of dirt. And he says, Mommy, look, I changed colors. I became a different color. She says, go take a shower. Go take a shower. It's not you. And you can get out of it. And we can get cleaned up. And we not only can we get cleaned up, we can come so close to Hashem. We can go from the 49th level of Tama to getting Har Sinai. No matter what we did, no matter what we saw, no matter what situation we're in, let's not fall for that fantasy, for that dimyo. Let's realize who we really are. Stay strong. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.